right everyone welcome back to Joe Man's Land I hope you're having an amazing day it's been about three days since I posted my last video talking all about the um, FX glass that is in my bag if you missed that please check about my left hand here and in that video if you already saw it you knew that I was saying that my next video would be a low light test of my Z6 but in the last couple days I saw an interesting leak on Nikon rumors that I just had to jump into today so we'll talk a little bit about that and then also an upcoming event that's going on at the camera store here in calgary it's a beautiful day here it's about five degrees so i thought why not talk about those things along center street while doing some uh sunset photography of the calgary tower well golden hour still isn't quite here yet we've got downtown calgary in the background it should be really nice it's a little bit cloudy so i'm you know a little bit worried it might not be quite as nice as i was hoping for but i guess to get things kicked off here why don't we talk a little bit about the event coming up at the uh, camera store here in Calgary so if you live in Calgary you know there's a good number of stores you know you've got Viztex, Neil, the camera store um, but the camera store has a lot of different events they put on on a regular basis which is actually super cool keep the community engaged it keeps people interested which is awesome and they've got an event coming up with KEH that I think looked really neat it's a trade-in day where basically you can bring in your gear you can trade it you get a store credit you also get a 10% boost if you're buying a Nikon or a Lumix camera which is nice as well if you're a Panasonic or Nikon shooter and I was actually thinking that maybe it's time for me to take in my Z6 and replace it with a Z7 I know the autofocus won't really change that much the video capabilities are basically the same but you know having that uh, extra you know 20 plus megapixels could be nice for doing stills uh, what do you guys think comment below do you think I should keep my Z6 or do you think I should consider uh, selling it trading it and upgrading just for a little bit more to get the uh, Z7 is it worth it should I just keep the Z6 comment below so without further ado let's get into the topic of the day which is the Nikon rumors update concerning the Z6 and Z7 firmware Whew. this week on Nikon rumors they put out an article talking about a potential new Z6 and Z7 firmware update they even had another one talking about potential updates for DSLRs going all the way back to the D7100 which was actually the first Nikon I owned and it was an awesome awesome camera so while we may not have seen Nikon necessarily come out with a new camera body at CES this year it does look like they might be putting out more updates for their current cameras, which is really exciting. A video I put out about three months ago covered the Z6 update that they dropped last year, talking about the new coverage they had for new lenses as well as improved autofocus. In fact, if you'd like to see that video or don't know how to install your Z6 firmware update, check above my left hand here. I've got a video all about that. But, you know, Z6 and Z7 users last year felt pretty spoiled with that update. But, you know, it's interesting because they didn't put out a firmware update for the Z6 II or Z7 II, which left a lot of those users kind of confused and like, man, why, why wouldn't you update our cameras as well? So it would be kind of a punch to the face for them this year if they put out another Z6 and Z7 update and don't actually provide updates for the Z6 II and 7 II camera bodies. And again, this is a leak, folks. This is not confirmed, but we would see uh, support for some of the newer lenses as well as potentially uh, improved overall autofocus on um, all lenses, which, you know, I use all adaptive glass, so I would love to see if there is an update, how that autofocus might actually improve. I did notice some improvements from the last update, but you know, anything new at this point would be greatly appreciated, but not expected. Not all camera manufacturers actually offer support on their older bodies uh, long-term in terms of uh, updates. And um, you know, Fuji's been doing that for years. That's one of the reasons um, Fuji shooters are so loyal to their brand. So it'd be really neat if Nikon took a play out of their book and you know, provided support for those older cameras and you know also comment below what would you guys like to see Nikon do via firmware update this year would you like to see the Z6 and Z7 get another update or would you like to see the Z6 II and 7 II get a bit of love or you like man I want a new camera body and are you holding out for the Nikon Z8 maybe to drop this year but let's get back to taking some photos of sunset before the sun's completely gone and then we'll wrap this one up Also as well, uh, the lenses I'll be using today, it's gonna be a combination of the 17 to 35, the uh, 514, and then also the 70 to 200 to eight on the big camera. Right now you're seeing me through the Osmo Pocket 2 with the uh, creator combo, so I've got the wireless mic. Right now I'm actually shooting in auto, so while we're waiting for golden hour to come, let's slap some of those Polar Pro ND filters on and we'll try shooting in full manual. Right now you're seeing it in a 4K, 25 frames at a shutter of one over 100 in manual with an auto ISO of 1 
100. When you shoot auto ISO, it means it will shoot only up to 100, but it alternates within there. So let's just start throwing on some different NDs and let's see what happens. We'll start right now, as you guys can see, it's pretty overexposed, it's showing um, plus one. So let's throw on an ND4. Let's see if that gets us to where we want to be. There we go. All right, we're at plus 0 0.3. That's looking pretty close. You guys can see the clouds over there now. So that's getting a bit closer. It's not too overexposed. But again, let's try one more. Now we're going to try the um, ND8. So maybe that'll be a little bit closer than the ND4 to getting it perfect. I will be doing some more uh, reviews and content surrounding Osmo Pocket 2 in 2023 as well as some of the accessories I use with it. Um, the reason I haven't done it to date is, well, I just haven't had time. Alright, so there, now we've got the um, ND, we've got the ND8 on there, now it's a little underexposed, but definitely getting closer. Now we're shooting at Auto ISO 200 with the ND8, what do you guys think of that? Do you guys think that looks pretty good? I think it looks not bad. I'm looking forward to shooting my review on this, let's keep going. So to get here, uh, you just come up Center Street, which is just beside me here, and uh, there's parking just in the uh, neighborhood that's just beside the park onto my right-hand side here. Two-hour parking, pretty accessible. This little spot that I'm in, I just got like a little camping chair set up. It makes it more comfortable, makes it fun, makes it easy. It's definitely a good spot to uh, visit if you ever get a chance. And oh man, look at that sunset behind me there. It's looking, it's looking pretty good actually. I'm, I'm surprised, but. Anyways, we'll let the big camera finish shooting and then we'll do some uh, high ISO um, walking and talking to wrap up the video. Man, I just love how that all looked. Anyways, I guess this is probably as good of an area. Actually, let's maybe just walk out here just a little bit. I know this video has been kind of up and down all over the place, but um, we'll just wrap up the discussion here. I would love to see the Z6 get another firmware update, but it's kind of cool that Nikon Rumors is hinting at it. Does, again, it does not mean that this is really going to happen. It does not mean that it's real, but you know, they typically get some of their stuff right. So I, I really like that. Also in the comments below, tell me, do you think that I should be trading in my Z6 to get a Z7 or should I just stick with the Z6 and say, heck, heck the z7 but anyways folks we'll leave this one here hit that like button subscribe to the channel and remember to take beautiful photos every single day don't do it for the views do it for yourself and the next video will be my low light demonstration of the z6 during lunar new year's see you guys Whew.